guys, this is Faye, Diamond in the Rough, and I've just received uh, my Sophie and Toffee subscription box for October. So I'm just going to open this off camera, but this is how they come. Ta-da! All unwrapped. Now, this box is orange, although on my camera it's looking a bit yellowish. Um, so the Owls Box subscription, I will put the links down below where you can actually get in and do the subscription yourselves if you're interested. Um, if you use my link you will get $3 off your first subscription and what that also does is, oh, straight up, if I have three people go into su subscribe using that link, I will qualify for a free box. So and you'll have the opportunity yourself but you can do that as well. The standard subscription box is $34.95 US. The premium elves box is $48.95. And I have already unboxed the starter pack. So the starter pack was really good. But here we go. So the elves box has been unboxed by so many. Oh cool. Look at this, you can see I'm already little peanuts. Cool. Um, really do like that. Uh, so yeah, this has been unboxed by so many that I've been watching it going, oh, hurry up mine, but because I ordered mine on the very last day, I knew that I would be getting mine very, very late. So they're little packing peanuts that they have, which are very cute. Some people in their boxes were getting the shredded paper is hear people going go back to the go back to the peanuts so I've got peanuts so the theme is dragons so special appearance Game of Thrones 3d dragon egg mold and there's D&D seven dice mold which is in the premium box which I didn't get there is Sophie and Toffee has a blog where you can actually see how they do things and Facebook group there is also a members coupon on there I'll have to find out what that coupon actually gets me I think that just gets me a discount on purchases um, there's a little thank you for being a subscriber and see and it says see you in the next box it's really cute and then it tells me all the items in the box okay um I don't have one hmm. ah, I was actually going to try and use a cover miner to stick that up there but that's not going to happen so work our way through the box yay love this love this okay dragon shaker silicon mold I thought this, this looks so much bigger. This looks so much bigger on me. Hello, boy. Go sit down, buddy. Um, when you actually watch people with it, it just gives the impression of being so much bigger. And I was like, oh, that's too big. But this is a dragon shaker silicon mold. <laughs> Guess what I might be making. Um, so... I've done some silica, some shaker molds already. They're the ones that I'm actually interested in. So that's going to look really cool. So I've got that Dra Game of Thrones 3D Dragon Egg silica mold. Oh. Sorry, I'm. Um, you know how what it's like. We all look for the edge of the packaging to unwrap, but. There actually isn't one. Actually, maybe cut into bag. I'll probably find it once I open the bag up. There we go. So this one is you pour the resin in, not too high up, and then you push that down, and it, there we go. So then it will actually push the resin up to the sides and make you an egg or one side of an egg so to make a full egg you need to do two 
Um, yeah, that's cool, cool, cool. So that's the dragon. So Sophie and Toffee UV resin molds. UV resin four molds. So there's the UV resin. Uh, dragon scales silicon mold. Oh, oh, okay, that's what that's called. I know there's an edge on that one, I can just see it. Oh, oh that's cool. That's so cool. So they're little dragon eggs. Straight away, I have an idea. Okay, I will actually be tackling this one. Okay, baby dragon, open bezel charms. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, so sweet. Let's see if I can get them all up the right way for you to have a look at. They are gorgeous. A bit of shine off those, sorry. Okay. Ice blue colour shift pigment powder. Look at how well these come. So sealed that if there actually is any damage, even if the container does open up, it's sealed in there because it's a very, very, very fine powder. So this is a blue colour shift. They give you a brush to use and it's even even that is sealed up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. <laughs> oh. Buddy, go sit down. Why can I never open these up? All of those lids type things. Oops, there we go. Tweezers are amazing, aren't they? So that is an absolutely super fine powder. Um, you do see hear people saying, you know, there's not much in there. But what they do find is that may not be much on there, but they do last. There, there's a, it goes a long way. Okay, fire red mirror chrome pigment powder. This one's got two brushes. And yet again, it's sealed. And learning from the first time. Let's see how these tweezers. Oh, oh, that's really, there's a lot of colour. See the sparkle on that. That one is straight in the bin. I've got to make sure I don't spread any of that sparkle around. <laughs> and that is actually very full, that one. Cool. With two of the brushes. Um, gold and silver iridescent foil scales by six. So there's six in here. I tell you, what, I do love the way that these guys package their stuff. Okay, I'm not going to open them up. Well, let's see if it's going to focus on them. So just all the different scales that you can put in the dragon molds. Mind, there's plenty of there. It's they, <coughs> but the only thing that you get that is probably only just suit, just enough suitable for the moulds and the, what you get is probably the UV resin. You probably only get enough to do a few of the moulds. It's not like you get an excessive amount of resin to work with. And there has been some spillage. That's an example of those flakes. The dragon scales. But cool. So in a plastic bag, in a case, no spillage. And then 
the clear shaker film which has the protective cover on both sides which I will remember to remove both sides when I work on this. So put the box aside, go back through it. So there is the dragon, the dragon egg, the resin, okay. dragon scales mold, the four bezels, the ice blue pigment, the fire red, gold and silver, iridescent scales, and the shaker uh, film. So there we go. I will be back shortly because I'm going to do something with the little dragon scales as um, as a little quick little project to do. So I'll be back shortly when uh, my desk is in a situation where I can work on resin. All set up and um, now I do have the overhead camera and I thought I'd give you a close up here. I am going to put magnets in the back of these and the plan is to, what I want to do is actually put the powder slightly on the eggs or do one red one blue and one a combination of red and the blue. I am going to pour resin in but I'm going to use a tint to that which I have from uh, I think I got that was an Amazon that was the flash gold so I'm hoping that these will work together. So the first thing I'm going to do is hopefully get enough resin out. Oh that comes out nice and easy. Get enough resin out that I can I want to mix, ooh, five seconds. I forgot uh, my little flame thrower. There we go. Two pop bubbles. Whoop, there's Bo, he's come to visit and investigate. Alright, so I'll just mix this resin up. These are cute little tools, but they just seem to be just a little bit too thin for mixing. I'm too flimsy for mixing. Okay, just try and put that where you can see it. That's got a nice little tint to it. I'm thinking I might need more. <laughs> Actually, I am going to do more. And I will put some more of that powder in because I think I might pour the mold for the shaker as well. I might do the dragon with the gold powder. Sorry guys, I am doing this slightly off the main cam, off your close-up camera. These bags, I'm going to put these colours into bottles because I just struggled to open the bags <laughs> every time I go through this process. So right now I'm going to get there and say, guys, um, you may or should wear gloves. You know what? That might look cool as part of the egg. I might leave that bag open a bit. I might put some of that gold to coating the egg to give that a glisten. <laughs> I've got gold mica powder on my fingers now. So that mica powder is just um, for soap dyes. Now let's mix this through. Okay. Just I'll put a bit of a flame to that just to pop some bubbles whatever's there at the beginning great thing about Sophie and Toffee there what came in their starter kit was this mixing container and it actually does have a lip on it 
So I'll just move that slightly out of the way because now what I want to do is use the powders. So I'm going to do one with blue. Okay. It puts a translucent sheen on it. You definitely don't need much of that. I'm actually rubbing that in and trying to take off any loose bits because that looks like there is a lot there. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the tip of this one. Try and make it a bit jagged and soft. Do the red. Oof, look at that fire red. Oh, that comes up even better on the camera. some of the fire red there right and it's gonna oh that go went everywhere didn't it okay okay I think I need to start putting having cotton buds on my desk Right, so you can see I've got the blue, I've got the red and the blue with a bit of gold in the middle and then I've got the red. And I think that red's just a bit too strong on there. Just try and soften that red a little bit. That just softened the edge a bit. Okay, so here we go, we're going to... Gonna give this another little bit of a stir. Gosh, I don't need much resin by the look of it. pushing this out to the sides. I am not filling this right up. The reason, be the reason behind that is because I want to put the magnets in it. Oh, that one's probably too full. So I push this around to the edge. See, no, can't see that. Okay. <laughs> of course I have it when I spill stuff to do that. Hang on a sec. I forgot my torch, so my blue light torch, my UV torch. I'm just going to pop these bubbles. And this little bit of resin, I'm just keeping it away from the torch. What I'm trying to do is set this just a fraction. just so that the magnets don't sink down because I want the magnets that I put on this to stay up pretty high, reasonably high. Okay. So that's, it's still soft. Right here. And for those of you that diamond paint, these are the cheapy plastic tweezers. Perfect for magnets. Oops, <laughs> because magnets so love metal. And the last thing I want to do, because I use, because I have, um, because of the way my nails are, I've got to try not to let the resin 
get it on my nails. I am due for them to be redone. So I'm always tempted to poke. Oh, no. No. Here we go. Uh, I am going to have to grab. Nope. Let's see. Far out. Uh, hang on a sec. I've just got to separate these. What I've done is I've lifted the three magnets up. They don't have the uh, resin on them now because this was set enough. But let's see if I can drop these on there without getting them. Great thing about magnets, they get so close to each other. There we go. I was just saying that I'm trying to use my tweezers to sit so that I don't get resin on my nails. Okay. Don't want them off center too much. Okay, so I'm just going to, I am now getting down low enough so that I can see these. There's moments of silence when I work on this. Okay, I'm just going to close up these powders. let that gold settle a little bit nope I think my partner's home he's got the day off I'm on night shift tonight and I had to do this bow settle down okay set this a little bit before I move it I have learnt the hard way that if you actually oh, didn't pop the bubbles, I've got a bubble in one. I learnt the hard way that if you set these slightly before you move them under the resin lamp, you get a lot better result. You don't spill them. So the dragon molds, you can actually see the magnets in the back. Oops, you can see them in the front too. Oh, not really, not too much. Okay, just feeling it. It's a little bit tacky, but here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> it's almost, the dragon scale is almost an Easter egg type thing. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, there's magnets in these. These are going to pop together. So that's the one with the red. So, the, I didn't, it didn't obviously coat it enough on the red there. That one's just with the iridescent blue. And then that's the one where I used a multicolour. So there's a couple of different dragon scales. Um, so yeah, I will, these will go out in the sun. Um, I actually put, when I do resin work, I do put them out on my windowsill in my <laughs> craft room because <laughs> I do this work on my desk.
Okay, here we go, all planned up. What we have, the three, this is a better way to do it so you can see it. The three dragon scales. Oh, that should turn out quite pretty. With the magnets on the back. You can see them slightly. And then my dragon shaker mold. Now, you can see the doming. Maybe you can't. It's too much sparkle, I think. Okay. So there we go. Sophie and Toffee, I've done the dragon. And I've done three dragon scales. And I ran out of resin. So I had enough resin to do that and the three scales. Haven't even touched the egg. Hi, so there we go. All the pieces um, I've got in the box. I'll actually pack those away. Um, yep. So you're not even enough to try and do anything with the, the bezel. So guys, let me know what you think. Um, back of the dragon's pretty cool too. I think a heavy duty magnet on that one. Here we go. I keep saying magnet because I want to put magnets on things. Um, so yeah. Guys, let me know what you think. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer the dragon shaker or the dragon scales? Um, would this make a cool cover minder? I think it might look make a cool cover minder. Um, so guys, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the process that I've just done gets a bit messy at times um, give me a thumbs up thumbs down mm, your choice uh, please if you're not subscribed um, please consider subscribing I do do resin I do diamond painting and a few other bits and pieces as well um, and for those of you that are subscribed if you tick the bell you get notified when I do post anything or when I do a live so guys thank you for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.